Today we're going to talk about finding the volume of a cylinder. A can has a radius of 1.5 inches and a height of 3 inches. What is the volume of the can? Before we work on this problem, let's talk about what a cylinder actually is. A cylinder is a three-dimensional shape in geometry. It is round and has a top and bottom in the shape of a circle. The top and bottom are flat and always the same size. I'd say the best way to describe the shape of a cylinder is to think of a can of soup or a can of pop. The volume of a cylinder tells us how much space it has on the inside of it. If you had a can of pop, the volume would be equal to how much pop fills the entire can. In the formula for the volume of a cylinder, you will need to know two things, the height and the radius. The radius is equal to half of the diameter of the circular top or bottom. Remember that the pi in the equation for the volume of a cylinder can always be rounded to 3.14. Now that we've defined what a cylinder is and also discussed the volume of a cylinder, we can proceed with the problem. In the problem, we were given a can that had a radius of 1.5 inches and a height of 3 inches. So, we have everything we need to calculate the volume. So, we're going to multiply our pi using 3.14. Our radius, we're going to square 1.5. I'm also going to put the units, inches. And then we're going to multiply 3 inches. The answer comes out to be 21.2 inches cubed. Don't forget to put your units, very important. Now, since the T6 allows you to use a four-function calculator, I'm not going to concentrate on multiplying uh, these things by hand, these values by hand in this problem for the video. So, um, I will be posting other videos that show um, manual multiplication, multi-digit, but we won't concentrate on that in this video. And that's it. That's how you find the volume of a cylinder. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and we'll answer them as quickly as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting more T6 examples this week, and we'll also be posting other math prep videos. Thanks for watching today's video. Bye-bye.